Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is King Knox. Today, I want to talk about how I passed the CCNA 200 and 301. Um, I want to walk through and give you guys as much resources as possible in a short amount of time. So I'm going to leave all the links, all the resources in the description below. If you have any questions, I'll be able to provide you with an answer. Resource for all you book readers out there is the CCNA official cert book. Um, this contains two books. It's if you can read fast and you can actually understand um, reading versus videos, this is for you. And it comes with um, a practice exam as well. So this will really fit well for anybody that's a really a book reader and wants to do labs as well. I personally used it and I'm gonna show you guys how I took my notes as well. And then we'll go ahead and see, show you what's going on on the screen as well. Example of how many notes and how I wrote my notes and this is how I studied. Um, there's like, this money like, there's so many more like so much notes so it depends how you learn if you can take notes off a book and actually understand everything that's on the book then here is what you need to pass the ccna but i'm going to explain what's on the screen as well the first thing we're going to look at is a course that i recommend anybody to take it is the most organized course for ccna and this is what helped me pass so i actually bought out about a journal and i printed out the schedule that he provides Neil Anderson is really clear and cut. He just shows you exactly what you need to know. Um, but you will not pass if you just take this course. You can also use a resource such as the book. Or you can use Cisco's documentation, which I'll leave in a link below as well. So the reason why I say you will not pass just after watching this is because you need to have practice exams as well. So this is where Bison, I'm pretty sure if anybody's did research on CCNA knows that Bison has the best certification for test, um, for example, CCNA, Encore, et cetera. This is what I use. I'm on Incognito, so I'm not logged in. I prefer to do it like this on purpose, but this is what I use. The test was a lot harder than the actual test. Um, I don't want to break um, NDA, um, but the test was, it was long. <laughs> it was long. It was, it's doable. That's what I could say. So I wanted to provide you guys with the best resources possible. So I recommend buying Neil Anderson, $13.99. Get it on a discount. Do not buy, up. Oh, don't buy a hundred for, spend a hundred on that. Then you got the Bison test, which is the best for after you're done watching it or you prefer to read, eat or work, whatever you prefer. Don't forget about Cisco packet tracer. This is required. I recommend requirement because it shows you how the commands work. Instead of just knowing documentation, you have actual hands on for those hands on users. Then I recommend everybody to join Reddit Cisco CCNA dedication. There's over 65 K people in there and I'm one of them. I recommend this is one of the best resources for asking questions and getting results right there and then. Of course, print out the exams. You have to print out the exam topics so you can be able to highlight what you have done. Um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and link it down below, or I'm sorry, comment down below and I'll be able to answer it. I wanna make these videos very short, straight to the point in what I used. If you guys want really descriptive videos and explaining something, I'll be able to explain it as well. Um, I wanna help out as many people as possible and improve my quality of videos as well. So these are just some of the main things that I used to pass CCNA and one thing too, before you take the, after you're done studying and everything, remember to breathe. Remember to take a, take some time to just breathe before you take the test and look over your notes. I took a lot of notes. Some people don't need to take a lot of notes. So find the flavor that works for you. And that's the best. That's the best advice I can give anybody. But these resources that I provide you in the link below will help you out, especially a schedule. A schedule it will help you out because you know on Monday I need to study. So. Like I said, I want to keep these videos very short and simple. You guys have a good day and good luck on the certification.